Now it is time for the ultimate test of a new haircut. Can it look good the day after when all the stuff that they put into your hair to make it look good the day of uh, gets washed out? Good afternoon, shun shiners and possibly shun shaders. I am going to get to cleaning. But first, I'm going to head to Publix, even though I'm going to go shopping again tomorrow to actually get a week's worth of food. I currently don't have any food that is not kosher for Passover, and because Passover is over, I don't really feel like eating matzah. Don't worry, it keeps for quite a while so I can save it until next year. The living room slash office is as clean as it'll get. The kitchen is as clean as it'll get. And the bathroom is as clean as it'll get. This little vanity closet area and my room, um, I have yet to get to cleaning. I'm taking a break to order dinner, and yes, I said order, not uh, make, because as I previously stated, I officially go shopping for the week tomorrow. So when I went this afternoon, I only got one meal. Um, I'm not ordering through Eat24, because uh, every single time I order through Eat24, the company that delivers it is a third-party company and all the money essentially goes to Eat24. They're just doing the legwork. So I figure if they're doing the legwork, they should get the money, not Eat24. So I'm using doorstep delivery, which in ways is a little better. Uh, they have a standing student discount. Um, that you can use any day of the week with Eat24. You can sign up to uh, get a discount code every single weekend, but with the student discount code with uh, the other place, um, I can order Chinese food or anything that they deliver food from various restaurants in the area uh, any day of the week and still get a discount. Uh, so. They should be here eventually, but I'm gonna take a break before dinner, get my dinner, eat my dinner, and then get back to cleaning, though I may have to wait until tomorrow morning to vacuum because it's already eight o'clock and uh, after like 9.30, it's a little rude to uh, vacuum, even if there are a lot of college students in this complex that stay up late. It still is annoying to the few people who are not college students or if they need to sleep. I don't know. Things and stuff and whatnot. Awkward cut. Oh yeah, somehow I hurt my thumb in the process of cleaning. Don't know how that happened, but it did. So I know how I had said that I would not binge watch any TV shows for a while. Also, remember when I mentioned that I discovered that the second three seasons of Codename Kids Next Door were on Netflix? Yeah. Uh, for the past couple of days when I've been dealing with the vlogs, before and after I got a haircut, and uh, while I was cleaning, I kind of watched the last three seasons of Codename Kids Next Door, including Operation Zero, um, The Grim Adventures of K&D, and uh, Operation Interviews, which, um, or Interview, I think it's Interviews. Anyways, uh, Zero, Interviews, and um, Grim Adventures of K&D um, are like these three specials. Uh, Zero and Interviews were movies. Uh, one towards the end of season six, and then one that is the last episode movie thing of the entire series. And then, uh, 
Grim Adventures of Candy was a crossover between Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy and uh, Codename Kids Next Door with um, a brief little bit of Ed, Ed and Eddie thrown in. Um, allusions to Camp Laszlo and Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends and I believe I saw the Powerpuff Girls get expelled from whatever was happening at the end in like an explosion <laughs> just uh, to tie in a bunch of Cartoon Network shows all in one. <laughs> so basically it was just a crossover episode. It falls under neither show's jurisdiction because it's not in either of the show's uh, like Netflix watchable episodes um, or any other place you can find them. It's like separate. But yes, I have finished that. So now I will not be binge watching anything on Netflix um, for a while. I had to specify on Netflix because there are things I have to binge watch on YouTube occasionally. Like I skip months at a time from watching certain YouTubers um, and then go back and binge watch a month. So, can't really say no binge watching, but no binge watching on Netflix. I also think today might wind up being uh, quite the five minute or so vlog because I like rambling, even though not much happened today. I don't know. I'll see when I edit it. Edit it, edit it, edit it, edit it. You know what I mean. Anyways, even though it's only 10.09, I'm going to get back to cleaning. I have a, a ton of laundry to do. So I'm going to end the vlog now. If anything interesting does happen, it'll either be the beginning of tomorrow or a bonus clip. Good night, whosoever's watching this. See you tomorrow. Well, I won't see you, but you will see me. If you enjoy watching my vlogs, feel free to hit that subscribe button. Tomorrow might actually be quite the long vlog. I'm going to Universal or Islands of Adventure or both. So it's possible that I'll make an interactive vlog. No guarantees. Awkward cut to outro. There's a vlog on the web featuring Ben Stock that he shoots every day as he walks and talks. If you're Bigfoot in the woods or producers in LA, you should stop all your shit and watch Sunshine Shade. Sunshine Shade. Sunshine Shade. Has nothing to do with Florida, but it's great. If you can't wait, don't get irate. Just stay in your sheet, cause it's Sunshine Shade.